look at the amount of boxes. This is a 40 foot container and this thing is jammed full. When we've been taking some boxes inside and going through them, but look at all this. And there is so much brand new stuff in here. There is some stuff that's not new, but just tons of brand new good stuff. Awesome, awesome unit right here for sure. All right, we're here at Public Storage. We've been waiting, well, we got here well over an hour ago. Office over there, it's just a, there's nobody in there. There's just like a, a TV screen showing a surveillance picture of me on there. And then there's like a, a kiosk to make payments. So I had to call call public storage, get put on hold a few times, get transferred a few times, then get told that I, we had to drive about 15 minutes away down the road. So I drove 15 minutes, took another 15, 20 minutes to pay for the unit, said there's gonna be somebody over here to unlock it, came back over here, took about another 15 minutes back here. Now we're here waiting and there's nobody in sight anywhere. So then I called public storage again. I haven't talked to anybody, I got put on hold. Then chose to do the text feature where I can text back and forth with them. They repeated my number and said that public storage would send me a text. That's been a few minutes now and I still haven't received a text from public storage to start communicating with them. So we're just, we're just here waiting just to try the units actually right over there. It's literally like seven or eight units back that way. It's right there. We've paid for the unit. We just need somebody to unlock the unit. But there's nobody here to unlock the unit. So hopefully we get this figured out soon. All right, it took about two hours, but we finally got the door open. So. We had to get the guy from the other facility that we went to to pay. He finally was able to come over here. And then he didn't have the correct key to open it up. So he had to drill the lock. So he drilled that out for us. But we're ready to go. We got to load in a hurry today. So we're just going to pretty much just load and go. And then I will film going through the boxes back at the store. Because Keith's got to get back. He's got somebody to pick up. But as you see, we got an empty truck. It's me, Keith and Billy. We're going to load like crazy. This is a 10 by 30. It was $950. So hopefully we're gonna find some stuff Whoa, in the boxes. Yeah. He said this one has been here for a long time, as you can see from all the dust, the pine straw hanging up there, the pine straw in the corner here, the dust on these boxes that, yeah, this has been here for a while. And if you look, it goes way, way, way back there. This is a tall unit, man. Somebody could really go crazy and put a lot in here, but it goes way back there, 30 feet. And the only thing I could really make out in the pictures, I mean, I, could, I made out, I could see this gift wrap. <laughs> And then I could see right here where it says soap and body wash. But all of a sudden, like I couldn't, I could see this says household, but I couldn't see that down there. But look, household, very miscellaneous. I don't know what very miscellaneous <laughs> means, but there you have it. Hands and feet, medicated lotions, um, Mexican sombrero and wooden mask, miscellaneous and other. So clothes. So it looks like just, um, I don't know, just general mix of stuff. But there's a lot of these bankers boxes that are all taped up as you can see and it goes way back there there is going to be some furniture you can see here i can see a piece of furniture wrapped up right there i can see a couch back there but it might be you know older so he said it's been in here for a while so it might be kind of stuff from you know the 90s or or before i don't really know yet we're about to see personal and housewares housewares etc very miscellaneous catch-all i guess very miscellaneous that's just their way of saying it's just a whole bunch of stuff mixed up it's very miscellaneous very mis large metal lampshade new tablecloths pot holders etc housewares and clothes but like i said we got to get loading because we got to get this Load. this truck full as quick as we can i'm going to take a peek in one box here just to give you an idea and so i can have an idea just kind of get a clue you know what it might look like in here but household very miscellaneous this is the one right here in the front and looks nice and organized here i don't know what these little carpet strips there but look right here we got command strip it's been in here so long that the the glues come off there but 
brand new little um what do you call that lazy susan what are these smart storage moisture absorber odor eliminator and connie's condo coffee filter it looks very organized actually when you start looking down in here even though this is very miscellaneous but looking in all these little boxes yeah those are coffee filters in there carpet samples i don't know what the carpet samples are for oh right here when you move this look there's a space logic nine pocket organizer there yeah the packaging looks a little bit old it does what do you what does that kind of look like about like 20 years old about 20 years old yeah <laughs> right here look roll out cabinet drawers two of them right there so it looks like it's going to be very good based off of this box bag. it's going to be very good and just this one little quick peek that there's going to be a lot of good stuff it's going to be very organized obviously some new old stock you know what new old stock is billy no. that's when something is it's an old item but it's brand new it's never been open you look on like eBay, people list it as new old stock. But oh my god, like this is really heavy right here. Cook family photos. The only other thing that we can quickly open is like right here, the one that says soap and body wash. And if you look in here, that's what it is. It's all Everything soap and body wash. Is, From the brand Elf, E L E L F. But all kinds of lotions and everything. But these are all like these are new that oh that's oh look vintage bath and body works <laughs> it's brand new wow. green cool clover stuff. green clover and aloe let's see if there's a date on this um no i don't see one to see if we could have an idea but as you can see looks like it's going to be a fun one to go through wish i could look at a lot more right now but but me i mean it's just it's a even though it's not stacked crazy high it's a lot of boxes but you think we can do it keith we have to. All right, let's it's a go. Long way out here. All right, we're moving along here, and it's looking pretty good. Just what we can see. Look how kind of nice and neat and organized everything is. We see a lot of a lot of brand new stuff. Oh, look at it. it's all brand new. Look at this. Cars, collectible cars, Hot Wheels. So from what it's looking like, look, there's a grave digger right there. From what it's looking like, the, this person was a, um, I was just telling Keith, I was like, they were just a shopper. Nope. They were they were probably, anytime they saw something on sale at all, they were buying it up. We saw some boxes that said gifts, where it looks like they were probably buying Christmas gifts like throughout the year. But tons and tons of boxes, man. So I think it is gonna turn out pretty good. It's gonna be one that's um, interesting to look through. A lot of clothes though, that's a lot of clothes, or at least in this section. Maybe once we get back there, we'll, kind of be out of the clothes area but this right up in here was a lot of clothes very miscellaneous very miscellaneous gifts Billy's got very miscellaneous gifts their descriptions on here are funny because they put very and kind of somewhat almost all that kind of stuff we got an old quilt here what is underneath here for some reason they put this over this stuff but they're just containers and stuff so I don't know if it was really supposed to be covering uh oh costume jewelry right there Huh? Is that Christmas stuff? Christmas stuff? Oh yeah. We do have Christmas stuff. It looks like ornaments all nice and organized back there. Ginger fireball. Two ginger <laughs> fireball. Zing. Huh. What's a zing? I wonder thing? if that's that might have been stuck on there by that that's like a liquor box that might have been stuck on there at the liquor store. Zing. Potentially. This looks like it's like DVDs or something, but let me just look real quick and see if it's not video games. But look at all it's all like brand new even brand new dvds brand new puzzle it's just a this is stuff miscellaneous for truck condo there's a lot of stuff here that says it's for the condo it's almost like maybe they bought they just went out buying stuff for this condo non-stop and yes i know there's a lot of people in other countries that have watched and wondered but yes here in america People buy too much stuff. There's a lot of shopaholics here. I don't. I mean, I guess they're in Europe and stuff too. But here in America, it's a huge, huge, huge deal. Is shopaholics where they just buy, buy, buy. So not necessarily some of it's reselling. They just do this. They buy it all, and then they stick it in these storage units, and sometimes they end up losing it. What is it? An old cabinet door with the 
goes to something. Skeleton Not a whole lot of furniture. A couple leather pieces here that got a lot of mildew on them. And they're just a um, giant block of boxes. But very miscellaneous gifts. Um, ass assigned and missing gifts. Gift kid, office supplies. Kids presents mostly toys and clothes. Gift office supplies. So it almost a good amount of the boxes say something gift on them. Oh. And some on not stationary office supplies. Children's gifts, DVDs, not new. Gifts, some designated. I don't know, maybe they were given to um, buying stuff up for charities to give. And there's gift wrap. Not really sure. Fisher Price toys. It'll be interesting to see. Man, oh man, this is one of the fullest loads ever. This is a 26 foot truck. Look at this. We couldn't get another box on there. Barely got the hand trucks on. Somehow I gotta get the broom and dustpan, but this thing, this was a load right here. We're wore out. We need something to drink. All our drinks are, I think, lukewarm now. We gotta stop and get a cold drink and take this stuff back. But I think it's gonna turn out really, really, really good. It's a, I mean, majority of the boxes say gifts on them. And we opened, all, the few that we opened, brand new stuff. But that was a load for sure. Unfortunately, it's still gotta be unloaded. And um, just finishing up here, we're gonna dig into these boxes and see what we got. We got all the stuff back from that unit. Um, I don't know if I ever said where we got it, but that came from Johns Creek, Georgia, a little over an hour away from here. It's a pretty nice area. So it's one of them things, you can't always guarantee you're gonna get nice stuff from a nicer area because people store stuff that live in other places. People, just because they live in a nice area, doesn't mean they have nice stuff. A million different reasons, but you know, you're kind of, a lot of times when you're bidding on these units, you're just in general, you're kind of gambling a little bit, but it's like educated gambling or working off of averages and you know, just a certain area and a certain look to the unit. This one looked nice and neat the way it was packed. Then, you know, you just kind of take, you know, an educated guess there basically is what it is. And when you buy so many units, you just kind of start to get a feel for the look and certain things you see. Some of it you just can't explain. It's just, you know, from buying so many of them, it's just a certain look and feel. But as you can see, got the door open. This truck is slammed full of almost all boxes. And this is the big one, the 26 foot. I just pulled this one box and I was about to start um, getting some stuff off. And then I remembered, hey, let me go grab the camera. But look right here, we got a brand new thing here at the store, here at the auction house. We got a 40 foot container that we just had brought in. It's all the way empty, so we just got a fridge down there. That thing, um, it works, it just needs to be cleaned out. So we're gonna wait till we, you know, we can get to that. But I'm showing this because I'm gonna put everything there temporarily in here. The reason we got the container is because you're just constantly needing space doing this. You're just overflowing. So so many times we would overflow outside of here and have to put tarps over stuff and risk it getting stolen, risk stuff getting damaged because we just didn't have the room, you know, and just piling, you know, sometimes we took it on there and just kind of piled it on top of ourselves where we were already trying to go through stuff. So trying to, you know, just give ourselves a little extra space when we have overflow stuff or get these big giant units and we just don't have a huge space in there. So we can kind of alternate around, you know, we have space in there, we'll put it in there. When we need some space out here, we'll put it in here, but it's quite a bit of space. Look at this thing, 40 foot long. This is the high cube. So we could stand, you know, a big sofa could stand on its end in here. So when we have extra furniture, we don't have room on the floor, then we can put it out here and ready to go. When we get a hole out there, we, we take it out. Um, just gives us quite a bit of extra storage room. And we don't have to worry about rain. This thing's supposed to be, supposed to be, I don't see any holes in it. It's supposed to be wind and water tight. So hopefully that's the case. Um, we'll find out tomorrow. It's supposed to rain like a lot tonight and tomorrow and the next night. So we'll find out for sure if it has any leaks. But I kind of, when they brought it out here, I kind of walked through, made sure I didn't see any, any sunlight poking through and it's used, it's not brand new. So, you know, there's some nicks and dings and stuff and like where that board's been replaced, but it looks like it's in pretty good shape overall. But back to the unit here, this thing, not we're still trying to figure out exactly what was going on because there's so many boxes that say gifts on them gifts 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 we only opened a few and we saw some brand new stuff just to start out with but then we saw like i saw a box that said bolivia files i saw some stuff that said costa rica so i'm wondering if this lady was buying stuff for charity you know to send to bolivia or costa rica you know those are 
typically countries down in Central America that, you know, need a lot of help. So maybe that was the case. But then, you know, some of her personal stuff seems to be in here also because it'll say like Connie's clothes and different stuff like that. So we're not exactly sure yet, but we're about to find out. But I think it's going to be really good. Um, it looks like there's going to be a lot of brand new stuff. The adult gifts. There's, you know, brand new toys. I really don't know for sure. We just opened a few boxes, but I'm assuming probably going to be brand new stuff in these kind of boxes. But this was kind of like a file box. This is the first one I just opened up. And look at this. It's all these um, rotary slide trays you know, that have all the, the slides in them. And that right there says Western Trip. So that's probably, you know, went out to Colorado or California, Grand Canyon, all those kind of places. That says Western Trip also. But you can sell these. People will buy these. So... You know, you don't have to throw these away. You know, old pictures, we sell them all the time. If they're really old, you know, obviously if they're newer, we try to get them back. And um, sometimes you can't get them back to the people. But old slides, old black and white pictures, old Polaroids, all that stuff sells. So definitely don't throw it away if you're buying units and you see that stuff. You can actually, if you sit there and piece it out, you can get a lot of money just for one black and white picture. If it's the right, you know, the right subject matter that's in the picture, some of those can go for a lot of money. If like certain cars are in, in the background, if certain, you know, um, historical stuff is behind them, you know, certain cities and stuff, you know, that stuff that might not be there now or that's changed a lot. I don't know. There's just a lot of different, different ways that they can be worth some money. But I'm going to pull some of this stuff off. I'm going to throw some of them in there. I'm going to open some of them up and get them ready to take out to the auction. But... This one right here, I'm pretty excited about looking through this thing and seeing what we end up finding. All right, let's get started here. Kids, gifts, toys, clothes, etc. Let's see what we got. Oh, and there's another piece of tape. I thought I cut it all off, but... And, man, look at this. So far, just right here on the top, look. Brand new socks. Brand new kids shorts or pants. Um pants brand new little glasses here's a what is this right here oh, let's hold on I'm jumping ahead of myself inflatable giraffe that's kind of interesting um i mean even the stuff this is nothing big but look it's like a brand new notebook here i mean it's looking like it's going to be a lot of brand new stuff look at this natural geographic kids filled in lab microscope so this is all stuff that says gift so there's no way this, I mean, the amount of stuff is crazy. There's no way this was all stuff that she was um, getting for her kid, you know, like her grandkids or kids. There's just, she wouldn't, you know, seemingly have enough enough kids or grandkids to give all this stuff to. But who knows? But I'm thinking charity is what I'm thinking. Look at right there, Dora, brand new. And all down in here, it looks like just all, there's like, there's brand new clothes, tights. I don't know what that is, but it's new. Brand new, like, toys and stuff. This is some kind of Hot Wheels. Oh, it's a metal, um, like, little metal box, lunchbox type thing. But look, new, new, new. Hug and Hide Bear activity toy. More clothes down in there. Um, what is that? First thought that was one of them popsicle things. Oh, okay, it's a change thing. One cent, five cent. Little Reebok, no, Brooks, sorry, Brooks Reflective Night Vest. Kick lights, lights you put on your shoes. Fisher Price, Rock a Stack. Oh, this is that. I think it, yeah, everybody's seen this thing, the little thing with the rings on it. But my goodness, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy, really, if this is how the whole thing's going to be. Brand new. This is Olivia. Olivia the pig dressed as a cow. It's like a little bag. We got flash cards down in here. Couple card games. But really kind of crazy. This is new, but it's smashed is the only problem because it was a foam little plane. There's too much stuff. And everything's packed. It's got to be because as heavy as everything was, it's got to be, you know, packed really tight in here. But socks, Forever 21 socks. So a lot of nice stuff. It may not necessarily all be, you know, high dollar stuff, but but when you're talking about all this, you know, little brand new stuff, it just sells so easy. Old stuff's cool. It definitely is. New stuff's cool too. New stuff's new stuff can be really, really easy if it truly is new. Now, 
if you get pallet stuff that's you you know end up with a lot of damage stuff and everything that can be a it can be a pain in the butt but when it's truly just some brand new stuff in the package it makes it really easy to sell it makes it easy to list on our auction because it has a description right on it you don't even have to look nothing up or try to figure out what it is so. all right one box down i mean didn't even put this just full of all brand new stuff next box to go now this one box here, this thing was coming apart when we picked it up. One of the few boxes that was busting apart. And it continued to come apart here while we were riding it looks like. But it's got like toiletry stuff in it and it's it's kind of a mess now because it's all fallen out multiple times now. All right, let's grab another box. <laughs> Some of these things were really heavy. We were me billy and keith loaded this thing up as fast as we could and we were worn out billy and keith were both falling asleep in the truck as we were riding back all right now this one doesn't say gifts or new so let's kind of let's see it says videotapes plus children's clothes so let's just see i mean is it going to be vhs tapes and used clothes Man, they they taped them all up really good they they put tape on the inside flaps and then taped it again so we got clothes here now look right here we got tags baby gap there's tags there so it looks like yeah that a lot of this even though it doesn't say it is it's still new but is it all i don't know but it looks like either way it's in good shape like that doesn't say new but it's in you know in good shape and nothing wrong with it I kind of want to see what the what's in this box here it says videotapes okay now these are like okay these are home videotapes what does it say dustin and russ summer 1992 plus good company so these are like just home tapes right here we got thrown in here dustin stuff so summer 89 that's probably some interesting retro looking home home videos here. It's kind of funny. I guess they took a video of just his stuff. I might have to check those out and see what's on them. All right, so that's a little bit different. So, so it's not all new stuff, but I'm telling you, there was so many boxes that said, you know, gifts on them. And then you got a few wild cards every night. Like this says Christmas plus Vera Bradley. What's, there's, there was plenty of holiday stuff, different holidays marked on stuff from every holiday. Easter, Halloween, Valentine's, Christmas. Once again, taped very well. And then you gotta be careful not to cut through and cut this stuff up. What is this? Is this brand new Vera Bradley? Yep, look at that. Brand new Vera Bradley. I think that matches it right there. And you can tell, look how bright it is that it's it's brand new. Oh, look at all this. Brand new, brand new. Hopefully I don't say that too much to make everybody sick of hearing it, but you know, I'm just trying to describe it and that's what it is. Oh look, we got Snoopy Christmas stickers. That's kind of cool. But this is all Vera Bradley. I'm going to say it one more time here, and it's, as you can see, it's all brand new. Beach towels, notebooks, pencils, all that stuff. Oh, Leah just came out here to find me and found, look, it's all brand new Vera Bradley. It's crazy, huh? Literally all this stuff. Flip-flops down in there. And then underneath it here, then we go to the Christmas again. Look, we got Charlie Brown Christmas book. So it's exactly what it said it is. Here's the I Spy Christmas book. So Leah's about to snatch some of this stuff from us, but that's all right, because that's part of the the um, one of the benefits of buying units is you get stuff for yourself for pennies on the dollar. All right, here's another interesting box. Okay, I went ahead and cut this. I'm going to try to not cut all these on camera, so you don't have just a bunch of me cutting tape on camera. Cut them and then show what's in them. Cook Love Hudson. So we got some names here, mostly Christmas. And then we've seen this on a lot of boxes, a signed and or wrapped gift. So 
that's kind of where it makes you think of you know maybe charity because it's been assigned to a family or a certain family or a certain kid and look at this when we open it up here for mike from connie and the guys for rachel with love from connie but see but then at the same time maybe this maybe they just bought gifts for anyone and everyone it's just hard to hard to tell at this point but yeah this is all to mike and kim from connie and the guys that's kind of cool it's got okay no this isn't i thought it was braves wrapping paper but it's a little braves baby book but then we keep going look and it's all yeah the whole thing it's all stuff that's wrapped up i'm going to open one of them so we can kind of see what we're looking at here so charity or a gift hoarder she just bought gifts for everyone she knew all the time whether we'll ever know the exact story on this i don't know but as we dig through we might find some more evidence that leads us to a certain conclusion okay look at this it's a uh, animates kind of cool it's a wooden horse that kind of look kind of moves made out of wood that's interesting right there sometimes those little toy animals there's some of them, some of those brands that are worth a lot of money i forgot what the brand is but they sell them at like hobby stores and pretty expensive So we got presents there. Another funny aspect of this unit is the description will be like this, very miscellaneous. So instead of just miscellaneous, they had to put very miscellaneous. They'll add a descriptive um, word onto the description and it makes, it's just kind of kind of funny. Including shop vac accessories, dust buster, swim fins and snorkel, Halloween, kids puzzle, right? Well, that's very miscellaneous. When you have Halloween to swim fins and snorkel and shop vac stuff, that is, definitely um i mean they're not lying they say very miscellaneous not lying at all all right we got halloween this is like a big thing you'd hang on the wall and then when we go under that i mean looks like a baby book a new baby book we got just some a beach towel again it's, it's miscellaneous random all that stuff nice little notebook here never been used what is that gift wrap organizer they probably needed that for all their gift wrap we got fall pencils looks like some more halloween stuff and if we dig down in there i'm sure we're going to find the shop back stuff oh here's the fins let's, let's look at these flow these look these look pretty nice right here they got the split all the way up in them split fins and i can see more down in there more fins so this unit's really gonna be we got these little bubble lights just off of what i've seen so far this unit is gonna be a jackpot unit it's just the the volume in this thing is unreal and it's just gonna be almost all sellable stuff looks like there's gonna be very little trash based off of what i'm seeing and then from what the other boxes are marked in similar fashion And like I keep saying, it's like, this thing is crammed full. It's an unbelievable amount of stuff. I gotta read these descriptions to you because they're just, it just makes them more interesting to me. Last minute catch-all, that could be scary. Very miscellaneous, housewares, gifts, dot, dot, dot. The best of Roberta Flack. Okay, we got a couple like gift bags here on the top. And then I, we're going to get, like I said, very miscellaneous. So, all wrap. This looks like a like a candle holder. Um, case bud. That's like a, for earbuds, I believe. That's a nice little wooden box there. A little trinket box. Very nice. Um, right here. Look at this. Brand new. The Hank Williams story. And we got Elvis here. And then if you keep looking in there, look, a brand new shower set. And that's definitely miscellaneous. I don't know what that is. A rubber ring. And man, I just, I don't want to open these things 
and dig all the way out here because there's so much little stuff and they're just packed. I mean, literally just packed. Uh, zebra paperweight. I mean, look at all this stuff. What is that? Alpha Mart? I guess, like, is that a paperweight? I don't know. We got some letters here. Brand new candles. But yeah, see new, more new stuff down there. Brand new wind chimes. And the way they packed so tight makes it even better too because every box is going to have, you know, just that much more stuff in it because they packed it so well. Some people, you know, you open up the box and the box is really like half empty because either they just only put, filled it halfway up or they just didn't pack it very tight so they could only, you know, they had a lot of dead space in there. Here we go with another one, New York Gifts. What could this, is it like souvenirs like a t-shirt that says i love new york or you know did they go down to the to the street where they sell all the fake coach purses and louis vuitton and all that all right, we got some cardboard here on the top or does it really have nothing to do with new york they just bought it in new york so we got a halloween curious george book here really nothing to well i guess i don't know did they ever say he lived in new york it always looked like he lived in new york Curious George. But some nice, these look, they look brand new on these kids' books. Look at that right there. This is like a engraving art book. It's some very nice books. They look new. We got a pillow on the top. And then we get under there. I don't really see nothing New York related yet. Beach towel. Um, I if that's a beach towel or a blanket. Looks okay, it's a throw blanket. All right, I don't see, okay, maybe in these boxes, or look, we got more wrapped stuff. Daniela and Maya. But these, yeah, these books are definitely new. They're just so clean and crisp. Curious George. <laughs> That'd probably be interesting. Family Guy Mad Libs. And then we get down here with just some more. So those must be gifts. Maybe these are pe people in New York. Maybe those are people that live in New York that they were going to give the gifts to. Do we want to open one up? Yeah, I guess we do. Let's open one up. So leaving y'all hanging. But this one says Max on it. Oh, this is nice. It's a book set. Philip Pullman. I don't really, not familiar with that, but I know these book sets can be a lot of money. Because see, like this one here, $22.50 three book set that feels like that's what that is with a book set so it could be the same one but there's other boxes down in there that are different shapes and sizes all right look at this cart here with the box i put on there i mean a good majority of that is going to go right into the auction and they're packed full and then we got adult gifts including soaps clothes mugs etc so i haven't opened one of these yet that say adult gifts but there's a lot of them on there that said adult gifts all right, looks like a journal. Um, this is mugs or a mug. Um, mug two pack. Sega form, Sega form. Don't really know if that's a well known brand or not. I mean, I don't know it, but that don't mean that don't mean nothing. There's a lot of stuff in the world to know everything. Caswell Massey um, dual phase body oil. Okay, and there's two of them in there. Another one of these letters, they were whatever, the, like little decorative letters. You know, a lot of people, they'll take, I mean, sometimes they'll spell a word out, but if their last name starts with an I, they'll put those, you know, on the shelf or something. Um, what is this? Some kind of baby. Oh, these are, no, I'm sorry. These are adult, like, shorts. They look like um, Quicksilver, you know, the brand Quicksilver. Look at this. <laughs> this is one of those hats. These are cool. If you're going to be outside and you want to protect your neck and stuff. Um, Express, it's a well-known brand. So we got brand new clothes for adults also. We have them for kids. Now we have them for adults. What is this? Uh, curling iron maybe, that's my guess. Sterling, no, I was wrong, oh, it's a watch, look at this. S-T-U-H-R-L-I-N-G. Maybe this is expensive, I don't know. Um, 
So this is a watchmaking legend. So this probably something I just don't know, but it's probably better than I thought it was. Sterling original is a vision whose rich historical roots date back centuries. So at least the way they're making it seem is like it's a well-known brand. So somebody will tell me in the comments if it's a good watch or not. I mean, I can look it up here in a minute, but right offhand, I don't know. Put one more box on that cart, and then I'm going to go in and put some of this stuff out. So I'm going to show you one more box here. Children's gifts, clothes, and other. And it looks like it's more of the same butterfly wall decor. And then look at all of these. Look at all this brand new clothes. There's a brand new Minnie Mouse shirt there. $19.80. This is all, all new. What is that? That's a wall accent. Little dinosaur you hang on the wall. There's a lunchbox. Levi's. So it's not just like... Sometimes you get new stuff, especially if, if it is being donated. You get a lot of off brands and weird stuff. But there's all kinds of good name brand stuff. That's from Kohl's, a little moose there. Got clothes, clothes, it's all brand new clothes, mostly what's in here. But down in there, there's there's gonna be other stuff, backpacks. But this unit is crazy. Dockers. Crazy, crazy. And if you look here, this is the one, we made one little dent here. For all that and pretty almost everything in there is brand new quality stuff and it just keeps going and going and going so needless to say as someone with a store and an auction i'm definitely excited because this this one's going to go a long 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 ways for our business all right and this truck is all the way unloaded if you look here in the container, look at the amount of boxes. This is a 40 foot container and this thing is jammed full. When we've been taking some boxes inside and going through them, but look at all this. And there is so much brand new stuff in here. There is some stuff that's not new, but just tons of brand new good stuff. Awesome, awesome unit right here for sure but i unloaded just a few i've been in there going through stuff but these two guys right here in the back that's my son billy back there and his friend michael thanks michael for coming to help today michael and, and billy knocked this whole truck out today they're finishing up sweeping it up here i tell you what hey when y'all get done sweeping this thing up go up front to the um cooler you pick you both out an ice cream and then you can go back there and take a break okay. besides all the new stuff also, like right here, medicated lotions, hair remover device, Mexican sombrero, and wooden mask, plus miscellaneous and other. I've already started going through it, and obviously, look, pretty nice sombrero. Very well made. Very nice right there. And we got the maracas here. I haven't seen the wooden mask yet, but there were a few other things on the top. Um, oh, right here. Here's the wooden mask again. One of them. Grab that paper off of there. Oh, wow, that's a cool one right there. Look, he's got a face on his forehead. That's a cool one right there. That'll definitely be an auction item. I think there's more. Oh, look right here. We got a little bear. Man, oh man, this thing's cast iron. A bear with a fish, but that thing is heavy. Paperweight. I think we got another mask right here. Oh, look at this one. That one's cool. It's kind of got little faces on the forehead too. Almost look like snake. Yeah, they are supposed to be snakes. Snake heads. Is there any more here? Oh, there's all, oh my goodness. Look at all the lotion. Off, all kinds of off down in here. All family care. We got some sunblock. Only bad thing about the sunblock, it, it gets old. That's probably out of date. And it, you can use it, but it'd be used at your own risk because it might not block the sun as well anymore. I guess we heard probably same thing on some of this off, but sure it's better than nothing if you're out there with the mosquitoes. Um, let's see what else is in here. Looks like a big old, right here, life-size zoo. 
That was an actual, that was kind of cool, life-size animal. It's saying that's the actual size of a zebra. Zebra's ear right there. Yeah. And whatever that is. Is that a sloth? Yeah, it kind of looks like a sloth. Actual size there. So, okay. So if we keep looking over here, I want to see if there's any more mask. And I think there is. Here's another mask. Look at this. Oh, that's cool right there. And it's got a little face up here too. That's a cool one right there. Look at that, Billy. See the sombrero? Yeah. All right. And then, is there any more mask? What is this? Uh, I, guess, I mean, I guess it's just like a decorative piece. But that's really cool. A big piece of bamboo. Oh, here's another, oh, another bear paperweight. I don't know if it's really, I'm just saying paperweight because it's really heavy. I mean, it could just be a general statue, but it could definitely be a paperweight. It's as heavy as it is. Here's a heavy box. I don't know if that's what's in it. Pottery Barn Pub Beer Mug. That might be what's in there. And then we got some more odds and ends in here. Tin. Um, these are like bookmarks. Yeah, we got bookmarks. The Hobbit. We got Smurfs. And then in here, what is all this? Um, Okay, it's like cellophane bags and stuff like that. There's some masks, kind of like party, party looking stuff. Yeah, all party, Halloween little picks, like, you know, for like, um, hors d'oeuvres and stuff. That's mostly what's going to be in here. There's some other little stuff stuffed beside it. Little Miss Sunshine. But yeah, Sunbrow, wooden, really cool wooden mask. Lots of off and other stuff. Is that something or is Eduardo that... Cole? I don't know. That's probably there's a lot of stuff in this unit that has been monogrammed. But what we're what it's looking like is this lady just loved to buy gifts her, but I just found a card a second ago. I don't know where it is, but the card was a thank you card from one of this lady's friends that she had sent a gift to their new baby or gifts. It actually said gifts. Thank you for the gifts. So this lady they like to send gifts. Here, let me kind of give you a quick rundown. So far, we've only gone through just a very small amount of boxes compared to the unit, but everything I'm gonna show you is out of this unit. Everything that you see here, look at this, brand new. This thing is really nice. Look at that bad boy. Cast iron, it's got the enamel finish. Mario Batali, all this is new. This is kind of cool, it's like a piece of slate with that picture of the flower on it. Brand new pillows, brand new coloring books, everything. Not everything is new, but there's a lot of new stuff. Brand new sets of Pyrex. There is multiple, but all this, every single thing you're seeing, these big canisters, all in this unit, everything. Brand new, very nice casserole dish. Okay, everything there. Everything on this side. Brand new clothes, little Superman set. All this stuff, everything. This is cool right here. Cast iron, little bear trivet. New kitchen stuff. Look at all this. Every single item is out of the unit. Vera Bradley stuff. Tons of Vera Bradley. Everything that on these shelves, on this side, every single thing. Cardboard chairs. It's kind of weird, but you know, like the kids, they can color it and paint it and all that kind of stuff. But look, brand new Vera Bradley. We showed some of it coming out, coming out of the, the unit earlier, but there's even more we've been finding. Tons and some, I mean, from brand new soap, brand new mugs, lots of nice books. These are all like coloring books kind of for look like you know adults because they're so detailed they'd be hard for a kid but all this stuff these little Volkswagen buses die cast brand new travel bags look at the little frog these guys kind of, people love frogs the little um, scrubber folder there but all this stuff okay let's keep going around and like I said we just got started I mean barely made a dent so far in this unit all right everything from here all the way down is all out of the unit too and it's not just new stuff look this is like an older set detecto lab this is an older set right here too this is a vintage the original fleming bottle and jug cutter playmobil more of your bradley fins and snorkels look at that brand new star wars trilogy book mary poppins barbie this is an older right here skillcraft senior chem lab set that's cool right there 
I mean, brand new. Look at this nice little jacket for a kid. Thermolite, brand spanking new. Gosh, gosh, so you got name brands. And look, a lot of these clothes are still in the plastic. So like when a store gets their shipments in and they open the box, it's all in this plastic here and they take it out of the plastic and like put it on the table or hang it on the racks. So this stuff is like new, new. Never even was put out at the store. All this stuff, Dora toys, you name it, it's all over the place. Little, these are kind of like bobblehead dogs right here. Um, American Eagle clothing, brand new. So all different brands, not just the same brands. But yeah, lots more Vera Bradley and everything here. Look at this right here. This is pretty nice. This is handmade in Poland on this red tinted glass right here. If we keep coming this way, brand new books and on and on and on. I think I already showed that watch. Look at this right here. It's a little tin race car. It's not old, but it kind of, you know, has the old look to it, but tin, brand new. But everything there. So this, this unit is, is unreal. And you saw all the boxes I showed just a minute ago that are in that container that we haven't touched yet. So we're gonna keep digging and we're gonna keep finding treasures in this one.